Hello my soccer universe. Well, I'm doing this review now in the evening because um, we had all the good games on Saturday and now I have to say Sunday evening I'm watching NFL here on that screen while I'm doing this video and preparing it. So I'm uh, getting a little bit ahead, ahead of schedule. Everything arranged, seven German teams. The eighth one is Lusk. As always, I'm wearing Lusk because Lusk, as we'll see, has won, but not in the Bundesliga. And yeah, I almost bought an eight team, but I missed out by it by about a day or so on. Schalke, it would have been, but you know, I'm working on it. I want to have at least this side. Maybe I want to get a few more Bund Bundesliga teams that we don't have this pure Lusk wall here, as beautiful as it is. I I think I could probably produce a similar wall as I did for Milan for the previous video. I could do that for Lusk, but let's see. Let's talk about the Bundesliga games, which I actually I saw more than I thought I would. Because I have to say, um, Napoli Atalanta was very quickly uh, not that interesting anymore. And then I put it on the side screen and I watched the conference. And yeah, there was Augsburg Leipzig, the first real uh, top of the table clash. <laughs> If Augsburg would have won that one, they would be for the first time ever properly on top of the table, but it was not to be. It was all Leipzig, literally all Leipzig in that one. They, uh, there was absolutely no chance and I have to say uh, it was a very well-deserved victory. Angelino gets the just before they have the first goal and then uh, Paulsen comes on a few seconds later from Boston-like goal, although the angle was not as acute, but it was a beautiful goal score to make it 2-0 for Leipzig. Freiburg Bremen, a rather uninteresting 1-1, except that the jersey matchup was horrible. Stuttgart gets a very surprising win, uh, in my opinion, over uh, Hertha. Stuttgart playing rather positively forward and got, got ready in the ninth minute through Kempf. A uh, nice header and probably should have made it relatively soon. Uh, two to nil in the second half. Kalajic misses a sitter. I mean, he just has to connect better with, with, with that. Uh, but they get then the second goal through Castro. M not too many chances for Hertha. Rather, this is disappointing. Uh, at, at the beginning of the season, it started brightly for Hertha, but Hertha cannot find their rhythm at the moment. So it's Stuttgart who is going strong, as we will see. Dortmund, yes, gets uh, the win that um, Bayern did not get against Hoffenheim. Tight game, exactly the game that Dortmund did not win at Augsburg, but now at Hoffenheim they do it. Um, Labored not convincing, but Holland assists Royce in the 76th. I think both came on, yeah, pretty much at the same time in the 64th minute. Uh, and 10 minutes later decide the game 1-0 for Dortmund. Uh, as I said, also deserved victory. It was more or less a matter of time until it got. Uh, then Leverkusen, uh, also 1-0 over Mainz. Rather disappointing, but you know, Mainz actually I had to come back. I think there was one uh, situation where a Leverkusen defender would have gotten a red card, but then it was offside for an easy win. So yeah, yeah. Bayern, also no trouble disposing B Bielefeld. I think the most notable thing is that Thomas Müller made two goals and he assisted was once assisted by Müller and he also uh, by Le by Le Lewandowski but he also assisted Lewandowski once but Lewandowski even hit the bar in the second half so um, it was quite dominant not as boring as the jerseys for Bayern were to be honest but yeah um, Bayern back on track for sure. The gladbach Wolfsburg game was a weird one because in the first half I think Gladbach was a slightly better team. Also extremely boring Gladbach jerseys. This up here, that's nice, that's nice. By the way, the white last jersey uh, fits very well with Gladbach because Gl Gladbach had uh, this one. Gladbach had the exact same jer jersey that season, 89, uh, but instead of red they had, had green. Actually, I would have loved to have this one. Anyway. Gladbach was a little bit better in the, second, uh, in, the, in the first minute. second half it was actually all Wolfsburg who uh, missed chances and then conceded a stupid penalty. I uh, mean stupid, I mean it, it, it was a count, count come back and there was a defensive error, error and the goalie just had no chance uh, that Hoffmann can convert. Um, but fortunately Wolfsburg who really have trouble scoring, they don't have str uh, struggles um, on the back because I actually quite solid about scoring they have, but 
uh, weak horse gets the equalizer in the 85th and probably they should have gotten, gotten the win. It was rather flat, flattering 1-1 one, one for Gladbach and Gladbach doesn't look all that great coming into the Champions League and this season, uh, given the great season they had last season. Uh, current Frankfurt boring first half. I actually saw a little bit of that, uh, except for, 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 for the end with a penalty that was initially not even given. But Hasea was so much felt into the box that Avar had to step, step in. If that wasn't given, I think we would be talking about that one a lot. But Silva steps up and makes it 1-0 um, for Fra Frankfurt. And that actually set up a very interesting second half, uh, of which I saw the last 20 and 25 minutes. So I didn't see the goals, but in highlights, uh, Frankfurt uh, cool, 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 make, make it 2-0. But then Duda, very nice, nice taking shot. And then actually th there were chances for both teams to win it. Uh, the one that I remember best is, of, of course, the last one by Modest. So, 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 so the one from far, far out didn't. Uh, go in. Haven't seen anything from Schalke Union. I just know that Union had the lead and Schalke comes back and gets the first points of the season, which means now at the table, Schalke is not in last place anymore. That honor, honor belongs to Mainz. Schalke still though with a very uh, terrible, terrible goal difference, but that's down to what Bayern did. On top, Leipzig stays top, but now we have Bayern up there, Dortmund up there, and Frankfurt is still in there. Uh, we, we, the win, they would have been in second place, but so they are actually dropping uh, <laughs> spots. Um, as did Augsburg, Stuttgart now in fifth place. I actually really like Stuttgart up there too, to be honest. And Bremen also a uh, rather lofty position. If you look at other teams, Le Leverkusen just got their first win, the way it was necessary. Gladbach has a so and so start. And look at Wolfsburg. Have happening with lost, but not one either. Four points, you are down there. That's not pretty. Uh, Bielefeld and Hertha now already uh, dom dom dominating and going, um, you know, dominating at the lower end in, in a way. So, uh, will be an interesting battle down there. If you look at the goal average in Germany, they have uh, above three goals, which is really, really good as well. And uh, this balance measure, 0.3 uh, something like that. I mean, rather even league for now, considering the points. In the next round, Stuttgart, Köln, interesting one. Bayern, Frankfurt, also interesting. And then uh, the interesting <laughs> Köln and Frankfurt, they're playing all of Bayern, Stuttgart, Bremen. Also the next three uh, teams for those two opponents. I found this rather weird. Dortmund, Schalke would be the big game. But Schalke is nothing at the moment. Um, and yeah, I don't know, Lever Leverkusen, Augsburg. There's not the... the Leipzig Hertha is kind of the Eastern duel, but there's not really a, a huge game in there. I think that Stuttgart Köln is actually uh, Dortmund Schalke. Yeah, we have to see how it goes. Let's go to Austria. I can, did not see much. We had a cup round. Uh, here are some select results of all the teams that are in the first league. We had two head to heads uh, of the uh, Bundesliga, which was St. Burton against Salzburg, which Salzburg easily won. And then the last one, which just ended in a penalty shooter between Wolfsburg and Reed. Uh, to to Reed had twice the lead at halftime as well. Wolfsburg late equalized in re regulation. They cannot find the winner. Lask, no trouble with uh, Virgil, although the performance was not all that great, especially in the second half. They should have maybe made a few more in the first. Eggestein, a uh, German under-21 player that we borrowed from Bremen for a year, gets the first goal in the first half and then stoppage time. There was a lengthy break, so maybe stoppage time is a little bit misleading here. They add two more goals to get the win. We also have the draw, but not yet the dates for the next, I mean the dates are around there, but nothing is really conf confirmed yet. Um, so this is uh, the last 16, and you see there's, there are in two games that have, have not been played yet because they will be played um, in a week or two from now. So let's see how this <laughs> is gonna go. Um, the big one is of course Salzburg Rapid. Very happy about that one. <laughs> I think either team will not be very, very happy. I think it will be easy Salzburg uh, vic victory. Uh, do we have another uh, Bundesliga Bundesliga duel? I don't. Yeah, Austria Wien against Hartberg. And Lask got off easy with Elektra Wien, which is, I think, in the fourth tier, as I remember. And you have a home game. So that should be an easy one, I hope. Uh, also interesting, we have the oldest team of Austria first, Vienna who are also for first year they made it but they have to have a pretty long trip in austria there's no protection for uh lower seeded teams so 
it can be rather unfair this draw. I think a very interesting duel is of course Sturm against Wacker Innsbruck, which is traditional, uh, but at the moment Wacker Innsbruck is not all that good and neither is Sturm. And also next week in the Bundesliga, I think the big game is actually again Lask against St. 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 Burton. I mean, Wolfsburg Rapid are the two uh, Euroleague fighters, but Wolfsburg is now not having a great start. If you look at the table, it is uh, Lask St. Burton, Austria winning against Salzburg is also interesting. Those are two big teams, although Austria also not all that great. So that's it from the German speaking world, Sans Switzerland. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let, let me know what you saw, whether you agree with me or not. And yeah, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.